In the world where PC parts are embracing RGB including SSDs, air coolers, cases, cables, here comes another RGB AIO by Deepcool. They call it the Castle 240 RGB and it looks pretty damn cool. Deep cool, you nearly got me actually because of your mesmerizing RGB. But you know what? You can't fool us because I'm gonna stress you out by overclocking our CPU, the 8700K, to 5 gigahertz and see how you perform. So I'll have to be honest with you here. I've actually unboxed the AIO, and as you can see here, this is the AIO. It comes with two good looking GamerStorm fans and they are addressable RGB fans. We'll see that in a minute. It also comes with another box that has a, a bunch of uh, cables, screws, and also the bracket. And you might be intimidated uh, if you're a first time builder because there's a lot of cables going on, as you can see here, and also uh, some more brackets and screws. But don't worry, the manual is very, very intuitive and it's very, very easy to understand. It's just like, uh, a, B, and C. So moving on to the AIO, we have right here the Castle 240 and it looks amazingly nice. Look at the, the pump top, the, it's some kind of a plastic material. It's not, it's not a mirror, it's actually plastic and as you can see, hello there. The pump is actually quite tall, taller than uh, most AIOs in the market. It's approximately seven centimeters tall. The radiator is is quite smooth. It's a really good finish. Over here at the side of the pump, you can see that the tubes are quite flexible. You can actually move it uh, from left to right. So it gives you more flexibility when you install it. And I guess that is it, everybody. This is pretty much it. There's not much going on. Let's just start putting this into a computer. Although the CPU pump block is quite tall, once you install it, it looks pretty cool, like a, a nice snuggly fit in my opinion. To my eyes, it is not invasive and it does not block any components. As you can see here, the RAM clearance is not a problem at all. 
The tube length seems to be perfect, not too long and not too short. So I've managed to overclock the CPU on the Aorus Z370 Ultra Gaming 2.0 motherboard and also utilizing the reliable Seasonic power supply. The core voltage was set to 133 and I did a load test on the CPU pushing it to 5 GHz for one hour. The overall results was pretty good as the CPU max temperature was always under 80 degrees and at idle it was around 30 degrees or 29 degrees Celsius. This is how it sounds like when the CPU is utilizing at 100%. And this is when it's idle. And this is when it's turned off. Let's check out the RGB effects as some of you may be sick of that rainbow. The RGB lighting can be controlled by your motherboard software or you can simply control it from the remote that was provided. I decided to control it by remote and as you can see I'm cycling through all the pre-installed lighting effects. There's a wide variety of lighting effects that you can choose from and also you can change the speed too. Last but not least, if you notice while I was putting this computer together, I have added two extra fans by Deepcool as well. These fans are CF120 and they come in a pack of three fans. So overall, in summary, the Castle 240 RGB was a pleasant experience. I have to be honest with you, all this instructional and like putting it all together was very, very smooth. It was super easy. Of course, the design is very subjective. People like this style. I mean, like the pump top is like very, very tall or if you like the the lower ones there's like other brands as well but this one is quite interesting quite unique in the market but i have to say guys this one is pretty pretty interesting and it's worth worth checking out but there's one thing that i'm a little bit concerned when i was building into this case i noticed that the tube here is uh it's not that long if you noticed it's it's a very good size for this particular case or this this mid tower compact case However, if you put it in a case that is uh, quite big, for example, the... Uh, actually, well, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so as you can see here, we have uh, a normal ATX case. This is like a full size, and this is a compact. What I'm trying to say is that when you put a radiator over here, and then you have the CPU block right here, the tubes are like kind of stretched out, if you know what I mean. I'm just afraid that it might snap. However, yes, yes, you could put the radiator up here, but then we have to make sure that the Deep Cool logo is actually in the right position. And so you have a lot of space over here, so it's just a little bit awkward. It's not, it's not filled up. So guys, what do you think of this Castle 240 RGB? Do you like it or do you dislike it or just just leave a like button, you know, that's that's all I want. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to press the like button. Subscribe if you haven't because I'm Joe from Jojo Coco Studio. I do builds, I do reviews, I do case mods, I do event coverages and maybe some videos of other case modders and all this computer related water cooling as well. And uh, yeah, many more computer related stuff. So subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.